Hey guys, this is Whitaker Blacko, and if you haven't checked out part one of this vocal instrument series, do it, because in that we create a beatbox machine in Ultra Beat, like this. So, let's mute that for now, but do that if you haven't. Alright, in this one I'm going to show you how to make a vocal instrument, this time though, that's pitched, like a keyboard. Alright, so, I'm going to just delete this so we can start over. All right, so what I want you to do is add an audio track. And then add a software instrument track. I'm just doing this. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it so I can find the pitch. I just can pick anything. I'm playing a C. All right. All right, besides the notes that I accidentally sing off key, I'm going to actually intentionally sing at least one off key, simply for the sake of the tutorial. All right, I'm going to sing a bass note a middle range solo note and a high range sustain note. Now here we go. Dun 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 ah, ah, ah. Alright, definitely some out of tune notes there and that's perfect. Alright, here we go. Now, first thing I want to do is select my bass note. Uh, Done. That was way Done. off. Done. 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 All right, I like that one. So make sure you have your scissors selected. The right one uses uh, command click. Okay. And next, I want my middle range. I think this is. Ah. Yeah, so it's a little sharp, which is good because that's what I wanted. Get that close. And then we need our sustain, which was just beautiful. I'm sure you're going to subscribe to me just because of my awesome, awesome voice. All right. So now we have our three sounds. Let's save each one um, as a different file. So you're going to right-click it or control-click and go convert to new audio files. And let's just save this. I have a ton already, so I'm just going to overwrite them. Note sing, C, bass. Mm -hmm. Do this one as note sing C uh, solo, and then this one will be note sing C sustain. All right. Once you got the sound files, you're set. So you mute it, add a new track, software instrument, and go down here to input and input the EXS24 sampler. The great thing about this is that it turns real noise, real sound into um, their own synthesizer. Alright, so if there's an instrument here, then click on it and go to No Instrument. Make sure it's on that. Because you want to start from scratch. Click Edit. Go into Zone. Add three new zones. Now first, let's just add the zone. So you click this little arrow. Load audio sample. Let's load... Uh, let's see, I think it's this one now. Make sure you load each of them. So the next one is Solo. And this one is called... C sustain. All right, so now we have our three samples loaded. Now these lines down here show where the samples are loaded. All three of them are on the entire keyboard. So if I play, it has all three sounds all over the keyboard. We don't want that. We want each part of the keyboard to have a different sound. So let's just make this range. Uh, let's just do the bass range around here. Or I mean, oh, this is the sustain. So let's make the sustain range up here. And uh, let's make the uh, solo range. Let's... You can do this in many different ways. I don't like them to overlap because I like them to all have different sections, but it's up to you. All right, let's increase this a little bit. Let's make the bass range a little bigger so it goes down lower. And we'll increase the sustain. All right, so here are your three zones. This zone is the bass. Now listen to it. It's not going to sound good. Uh. It's way too low. That's because we haven't told it what note we sang. I sang a C1, so you have to tell it I sang a C1. Dun, 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 dun. Now for the second one, I sang a C2. We'll select that. And for this one, I sang a C3, so that should be perfect. All right, so now this. Done. Ah. 
Dun. Ah. Now the C2 is sharp, and that's what I wanted because here you can tune it, fine tune it. So let's say your course, um, you go down one, and that's going to be a whole half step. Ah. Ah. So that's too flat. So what we want to do is fine, and this goes up to this do, does semitones. Uh, if you go all the way to negative 50, that's half of a half step. Ah. Dun. Ah. Ah. And that Dun. turns out ah. to be perfect. Ah. Dun. Ah. Ah. Dun. At least pretty good. <laughs> Now the sustain sounds pretty flat, so let's raise that up. See how this sounds. Done. Done. Maybe a little sharp. Let's move it down. Done. Pretty good. <laughs> Not the best singing, but it'll do. But the problem is, this ends. I want it to be a continuous sound that that doesn't ever stop. So we go to View Zone Loop, and we're gonna loop this zone by going on. And this is the start of the sample, this is the end. So let's just do the start as maybe, this is just trial and error, just, you know, you want it to start in the middle so it doesn't uh, sound really choppy. And let's end it just a little bit before the end. It says 188,000, so let's do 150,000. And let's see what that sounds like. Choppy. To fix that, you can go from, uh, uh, you go on X fade and go from 0 to 99.99. So let's just do the highest, see what it sounds like. Not bad. Turn on equal power and it uh, makes it so that it doesn't fade out or fade in. It tries to equal out the sound the whole time. And let's actually increase this to 20. Because I sounded, I sang sharp at the beginning. Save it. I'm just going to call it, I'm going to overwrite this one. This way you can come back to it whenever you want. Every time you go to this, it'll be here. All right. And you can edit it here, but we don't need to do that for now. Okay. Now the fun part starts because we can zoom out here and record our parts. So I'm going to click this two times. Now we have three instruments, three of the same instrument, your voice instrument. Right, let's turn our metronome back on by right clicking. It's a good loopable segment, and the good thing is you can listen to it. Dun, 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 dun. Pretty good, but the rhythms are slightly off. The great thing about this is you can quantize your notes. So let's quantize it to eighth notes. Dun, 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 dun. Loop it. All right, second part. Let's do a sustain. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's quantize that to eights, and then loop it, and then you solo. Make sure you know your range. Let's just add in the uh, drums by unmuting it and see what it sounds like. Thanks a lot for checking out my video. If you want to learn more about Logic, video game music, or you just want to hear a little bit more of my beautiful voice, then subscribe to my YouTube channel or go check out my website at whitakerblackall.com and register.